we should have done this way sooner. Let's talk about the wildlife and all the creatures of Florida. Some of the animals we're gonna talk about are things we see on an everyday basis. And some things are things that we know are in Florida that we might not have necessarily actually seen with our own eyes. If you like this video, please consider subscribing down below for more videos just like this one and all sorts of videos with information about moving to Florida and all the fun things you can do once you're here. Well, Lindsay, shall we? We shall. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the obvious. What Florida's known for, the alligators. And let me tell you, it is true what they say. You do see them all the time. Well, we see them all the time. Depending on where you live, you may not. I know people that have lived here a year, even longer, that have not even seen one. But alligators, they're a part of almost our everyday life. We also live on a golf course. Now, are they gonna hurt you? Probably not. Keep your distance and respect them and just admire them from afar. They could hurt you though. <laughs> they definitely could hurt you if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Death roll. <laughs> Another thing people say about Florida is that there's tons of snakes. This is beginning to be our specialty here. We go on night walks almost every night and pretty much every night walk we go on, we see at least a snake, maybe even two. Most of the snakes that we see are non-venomous snakes, like rat snakes, corn snakes. Black racers. Black racers, garter snakes. But Florida does have its share of venomous snakes. The most notable being cottonmouth, eastern diamondback, pygmy rattlesnakes, coral snakes, and in the panhandle, you can even find copperheads and timber rattlers. We have those seen some venomous snakes, those being the pygmy rattlesnake, as well as cottonmouth and coral. Man, you're right on the ball. Mm -hmm. So one of the best advice I can give you if you're anything like me who is terrified of snakes, I joined a Florida snake identification group. And let me tell you, it is not only, it has educated me so much. I literally can probably look at a lot of the common snakes without it being like the name put on there. And I know what it is now. Yeah, we're getting really good at that. We've been going back and forth. And even with the kids, we've been doing little trivia games to get them educated as well. And let me tell you, it has really changed my opinion and outlook on snakes. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still very much cautious and I have my fears, but being more educated just puts a lot of those at ease. And I, and I do look at them differently. And I, instead of it being something where it's like they're a nuisance and I just want them gone, I understand how important they are here in our ecosystem and how important they are to Florida. Next animal I think we should talk about, or critter, are the lizards. They're everywhere. They you are will everywhere. Definitely see them. Yes, no matter where you're at in Florida, you're gonna see the little anoles, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. Like gecko type things. They're running around all over the place. Now, if you're down in southern Florida, you might even be lucky enough to have iguanas, which are from, considered pests from what I think. They are considered here. nuisance. Yes. Like the lizards, you're also going to see a lot of frogs. Tree frogs mm -hmm. are one of the main ones we see. They're stuck to our patio doors at night. And when we're out walking, we see toads all the time too. There Everywhere. are tons of toads. So just make sure you're not stepping on them. <laughs> so this next one, most, almost everywhere has this critter running around, but man, it took me by surprise seeing all the raccoons everywhere yeah, during the day, just out and about everywhere. They come up by our door. They're trying to get in our little swimming pool yep. and we even, if you're looking at this picture right now, we had one that was playing with our kid's ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. They're literally everywhere. And at first, when I first moved here, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's rabbit. It's rabbit. It's out during the day. And no, it's just... A raccoon. It's a raccoon. And it's just everywhere. So, kind of a cool rodent that took me by surprise that I did not realize that we would see as much of as we do are armadillos. Those are weird looking they're weird fellas. looking little critters and they're pretty cool though but keep your distance because they do carry leprosy hmm. 
You want to get near them. Interesting. What else is Florida known for, Lens? Bugs. Oh, Florida is definitely known for its bugs. Let me tell you too that the first year, like the first little time we were here, one what what time was that during the season? It was spring. I didn't really even notice it that much. And now after being here, what, 14, 15 months, man, I'm noticing it. Yeah, there, Florida's buggy. There's lots of bugs. And mm -hmm. part of that could have to do with the quarantine we're in because I don't think they've been fogging our they, neighborhood like they usually do. 100%. I 100% feel like that's the reason because it was never this bad and we haven't seen her out fogging in a while. If you're living out in the country, I'm sure mosquitoes oh will goodness. carry you away in Florida. It's But people are going to tell you things like that when you're planning to move down here. Like, how could you move to Florida? There's so many mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We hardly ever, ever got bit by mosquitoes. And that's because our neighborhood fogs around the neighborhood to keep the mosquito population down. And even now, with them not fogging for a while, I still don't think the mosquitoes no. are that bad. No, and we also spray our own pest control too, which that helps. definitely recommend that. Now, the most notable spiders, since we're talking about bugs, that we should talk about in Florida are the poisonous spiders, mainly the black widow and brown recluse. Those are some pretty nasty spiders. But there's also brown widows and red widows as well, which don't think I've ever even really heard of them, but when I did my research, it came up. So, hey, what can I say? And again, guys, there's a group for that too. Yep, a spider I, identification group. I just signed up for that one, and I think that one's Because we've been gonna... seeing some pretty wicked spiders lately. Check out our Instagram. And um, I think the spiders are going to take me a little bit more convincing on how we need them around. Yeah. Because spiders are nasty. They're nasty. Before we moved to Florida, this is something... I knew nothing of, and it took me by surprise. <laughs> there are gigantic grasshoppers here. I'm talking take, as big as your face. Take a look at this guy right here. This is called an Eastern Lubber Grasshopper, and they're real. They don't fly, but they are humongous. Like, the kids were just in awe of this. We were pumping gas one night, and you just think it's like out of something of like you, a, I don't know. Like, you burnt near tripped on it. You think it's from the Amazon or something? That or like, I don't know, as some sort of a spill that made like giant things. Yeah. I don't know. Look at this thing again. This thing, is, this thing is absolutely nutso. Mm -hmm. Get it out of here. Hey, Lens. Hmm. You know what season we're coming up on? Love bug. Love bug season. Another beautiful time in Florida. If you've done your research, you probably have heard about this and we experienced it for the first time last year. It comes around Mother's Day every year for right. a couple weeks, and it's literally raining bugs. They're black little beetles. I'll put a picture up right now and show you guys, but they are all over the you place. You literally have to move your windshield wipers. Yeah, you do. To and get through the bugs. All they do is smear, and they stay in your car. They're hard to get off, and you literally... You know, the wind will swirl around in front of your door and you're having to sweep up bugs and, and you piles just of bugs. And you listen to the ting, ting, ting. Yeah, it's uh, th those, something it's I wasn't ready for. Mm -mm. So be on the lookout for that. So mosquito bites are nothing in comparison to this next nuisance. Fire ants. Ugh. Horrible. They're horrible. And when we first got here, we were not prepared for it. We had our kids running around and no shoes and... You know, I got a bone to pick with fire ants. Mm -hmm. You know why? At least mosquitoes are eating your blood. Mm -hmm. Fire ants are ruthless. They're just coming up and biting you for no reason. And I'm telling you, the, the welts it leaves on you. Oh they goodness. almost look like little pimples. I don't want to gross you guys out, but check out these ant bites right here. Like, they look like pimples. Well, they're blisters. Yeah, that's literally what they're, they are. They're, they're blisters. blisters. And, and they, they hurt. And of course, of all kids, Sully has a reaction to him, so his blisters get like really big. It's just, it's a pain. Stay away from fire ants. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a good pest control in your yard to make sure that you and don't I'm have And I'm telling them in your you guys, yard. it's not something to wait on. Don't say, oh, well, I have time to do this. Don't, because this is Florida, and you will get, the bugs will control you here if you don't control them first. Just be careful sitting on the grass. Yes. Let's talk about some mammals next. 
Wild hogs. Wild hogs. Now we've seen some of these and we've seen them in our eco tours that we've done and we've also most recently seen them out in the wild, which yeah. is crazy. They they're you know, they're out in the woods, guys, and they can potentially be dangerous. They are very dangerous. And we were on a night walk and all of a sudden our oldest goes, Oh, look at the little piggy. It was it was a baby one. And you and I, we freaked out because we knew Mom and Dada were somewhere. I just can't believe how much damage, you know, a pig could it's, do. Some of you might be watching that you live in southern states. You're yeah. like, this stuff is all normal stuff. Yeah. Like, but us coming from the north, it's a whole new world down here. It, it really is. is. Another animal that's in Florida that could potentially be dangerous are panthers. Florida panthers. There's yeah. not a whole lot in Florida, but they do exist and they are known to be seen in wild. And if you encounter one, they definitely could do some damage to you. They're probably more afraid of us. Yeah. You know, but, but it's not the kind of kitty I'd want to come sit on my lap. No, definitely not. <laughs> Sticking with the mammal theme, Florida is also home to black bear. Black bears, which we're used to. We had them in yep. Wisconsin there. Black bears are almost all throughout the entire country. So it's nothing new to a lot of you, but just be aware that they could be potentially out in the woods with you as well. Mm hmm. There's one type of wildlife that we saved for last because I believe it's the most beautiful type of wildlife in Florida. The sea creatures. Mm -hmm. Florida is a peninsula. It has hundreds and probably thousands. I'd have to look this up. But Florida's got a ton of shoreline. Mm -hmm. We got oceans on all sides of us, except for one. And the sea life is amazing. But along with that, there's some dangers. Sharks, for instance. New Smyrna Beach is the shark, shark attack. Yeah, it's called Shark Beach. It's the shark attack capital of the world. Most of these are bull sharks. And it's because there's a place called Ponce Inlet where the water gets churned up so much and there's such a good food source there that there just happens to be a high concentration of sharks. So we actually had an encounter ourselves with it. Our son was boogie boarding and we saw the fin come up. We saw the fin come up or a and, tail or something it was, but it was a shark. Brody said he looked, it was like staring right at him and he was terrified. I mean, it's just another reminder that those, you know, were in their house and just another reminder that you just always got to be careful. We're not trying to scare anybody away no. from going to the beach. No, but not just, at all. We want everybody to be aware. A couple other aquatic animals that you need to be on the lookout here in Florida for are jellyfish and stingrays. Mm -hmm. Now, both of those can do some damage, and both of them, if it happens to do anything to you, just pee on someone. <laughs> Anybody. Fails, just it pee doesn't on have someone. to be the person that got stung. Just if just somebody start gets peeing stung. On people. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, you don't need to be peeing on people. Oh. Well, I. Is that even real? If you know, comment yeah. down below. It's real. If you get stung by a jellyfish, should we pee on each other? I, I mean, mean, not each other. I mean, I will definitely pee on you <laughs> if you get stung by Thanks, jellyfish. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. <laughs> Next time a bee comes along, you're getting peed on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so let's talk about a nice marine creature. One of my favorites is the dolphin. Dolphins are nice. And we've seen quite a bit when we're down there. We've had dinners where we're looking off into the water and you see them jumping and playing around. Playing around. It's one of my most favorite, favorite things. Now we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something or we could at least prepare you a little bit for your move down to Florida or your next vacation. Mm -hmm. In all reality, this video isn't meant to scare you. No. We're just trying to educate. I'll tell you too, educating yourself on this is is gonna be so helpful. Me of all people, that I can turn and have a different approach and attitude on one of the biggest fears that I have, which is snakes. Slithery little snakey snake. I'm a slithery little snakey snake. I'm glad I educated myself. So that's what just, we're just trying to help you do. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will we'll see, see you, you next time. time.